Um, homemade projects, a homemade test equipment line. This was one of my more industrious little projects. A homemade function generator that put out sine wave, square wave, and triangle wave, and also put out pulse width modulated TTL output. Uh, well on this one and two outputs of TTL let's see here put out two independent TTL timing outputs and stuff with two independent oscillators one of them was the basis for the sine wave and the other oscillator is the basis for the square wave and triangle wave and you could select either one of the three on the primary output and use a cr zero crossing detector to produce a pulse width modulated output and use two uh, both oscillators simultaneously for a project using two different TTL timing sources on but with the technology I had back when I built this years ago, the speed on it's relatively limited, only up to about 30 to 100 kilohertz stuff. That if I was building it today, I'd build it with slightly faster comparators and op amps there to generate a slightly more usable device. It still works for what it's worth. I'll let you see inside the thing. Here's a basic internal view. Power transformer, rectifier assembly, filters, three regulators, which were plus 12, or the plus 15, minus 15, and plus 5 volts for the TTL. Use comparators, op amps, and a XOR sine wave generator IC which the two controls for the frequency is this control here and this control here this control controlled the total amplitude while this one controlled the DC offset and in other words, the voltage of the sine wave above or below DC ground. And the comparator produced the TTL output to generate a uh, pulse width modulated signal that did not vary in frequency as you change the pulse width modulation. I'll hook it up to the oscilloscope and let you see the different signals that it's capable of. Here is the pulse wave modulated signal and the primary signal sine wave up there. And as they bring up the DC level of the sine wave signal as it passes completely above zero you can see all this wave pretty much drops off to nothing and as you drop down you can see the new cycle of the pulse wave modulation change to the other extreme so it pretty much allowed a continuously variable pulse width modulation and you can set it to oops, bring up the frequency. Here we go. I'm going to do the same with a triangle wave. Hmm. There we 
yeah. That's something that even on the production frequency generators, that's a feature I've never really seen with them. So that's the reason I still use this thing on certain projects. And of course, you can get multiple uh, TTL based reference signals, which I'll show you in a second. Here's it pulling two independent TTL clock signals, about 50% duty cycle off of each of the independent oscillators on the unit, which I can set them different frequencies, harmonic frequencies, or whatever else stuff. As I said, quite helpful when you're doing TTL related work it requires multiple timing clocks stuff. Although with a limited frequency range of this, I've been thinking about building something newer that will be able to generate higher frequency ranges and stuff. And the with dual clock outputs and stuff. But that's something I've been Thinking about, but never have got to. Alright. So that pretty much concludes my overview of the old homemade function generator that I built 19 years ago. As with everything, if I build it now, I probably would have built it, I would build it differently. But hindsight's 2020. And it's served me faithfully all uh, through the years. So, it ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Take care. Take it easy.